Hi, so I wanted to talk to you about Moldavite today. So I did get my Moldavite. I hope you can see it here pretty well. Yeah, it's got an interesting shape. <laughs> and then I also have here a bracelet I received. All right. So Moldavite is very interesting because it's not actually a crystal. It is actually a tektite. And so basically it is glass. So it's glass that was formed from a meteor. And this is only found in Czech Republic which is very interesting. <laughs> it's the only really sourced there and around that area. And so there's only a, there's only a certain amount. So it's, it's actually gonna run out at some point. And so th these are pretty pricey. It depends on where you buy them, but they can be very expensive some will charge over a hundred dollars for like that. Um, I did look around to see where I could get the best deal. I got both of these. This one was, I believe, $30. And then my bracelet was 25. I got the bracelet on Etsy. Now I got both of these on Etsy. I was very careful to make sure that I, uh, did get genuine stones. Uh, I looked at the reviews and I did with the little one, not my bracelet, but the other one. I did get a certificate here of making sure that it is genuine. So just be careful because there are a lot of P sellers out there that are selling fake Moldavites, you just need to be careful. Now let's talk about Moldavite and what it, what it does. So Moldavite is a transformational stone. It's a very high vibrational stone. I say stone, but it's not really a stone, right? <laughs> it, it's similar to a stone, but it's really, they say glass. So it's, it, it's transformational, high vibrational, and it does affect the your mind, and in a, in a positive way. It's at least my experience was that my mind became clearer, and I was able to focus, and my ego quieted when I put this on and used these when I carried these around. It opens and connects you to your heart chakra. I know that when I did feel my bracelet, when I put it on, I can feel it on my wrist. So I can feel stones. I can feel the energy. However, um, usually when I put on a bracelet, I then don't. But I can feel this. It's very, very high vibrational. Uh, they did talk, I did do some research online. People have a history of losing Moldavite, so they have a theory that once Moldavite is done with you, you won't, you, you won't find it, it'll just disappear unexpectedly, and so that's a thing. I, I haven't had that experience, I haven't lost them. I've had a very positive experience with this. I... I haven't had anything crazy happen to me. I I feel really good when I wear it. There are times when I do get the in, intuition to give it breaks. So I will take it off. I will take this out of my pocket. And I will put it on my windowsill to soak up some sunlight or to get some moonlight. Although we haven't really been able to see the moon. That's another story here anyways. But I do what I can. I do cleanse it on a daily basis with sage. That seems to refresh it. Uh, really charge it up. 
I also used my singing bowl. I did charge it with water today, but it didn't really seem to make that much of a difference. I didn't see, but I did get a, I did get just an intuitive message to put it under some water. So I, I do notice that I do need to cleanse it more often than other like, real crystals, real stones. So that's my story with the, the Moldavite so far. I did channel that it is from Sirius. So it actually is from the galaxy out there. And it did come from, interestingly, like an alien planet from Sirius, which is pretty cool. So it is extraterrestrial coming in here. Uh, to, uh, I'm getting like a download, anchor in the light. That's what I'm getting, okay? So it is here to anchor in the light. Now, there's this whole TikTok thing, <laughs> apparently, where they're calling Moldavite cursed, that you shouldn't wear it, that awful things happen when you wear it, uh, boyfriends leaving, people losing their job, people losing their house, and crazy things like that. Now that is possible. I, I do think that that could be possible possible if you do wear Moldavite because it is a very high vibrational stone and anything that doesn't serve you can leave. These things may leave your life because it's trying to move you forward. Now, I haven't had anything like that because when I started wearing this, I, I had a whole bunch of things leave me last year. Oh my goodness. I'm in a totally different place. I did leave a job and have a lot of different changes. So basically, the only thing I've experienced um, so far is just it does quiet my mind. It does connect me more to my heart center. I do feel the energies. I do think too, this is my theory, uh, I believe too that if you're a more enlightened person and you're more of a match to the Moldavites, uh, that you're probably not going to see anything too crazy. You're probably going to feel feel pretty good, have a positive response. But if you're not a match to it, it's probably going to try to make you a match to it. So it's going to disrupt your life, probably. So it is a stone that moves you forward. So if you are feeling stuck, Moldavite is a good... I'm just going to call it a stone... Even though it's not, it's a good stone to work with. Uh, I will say, I was going to add in, I didn't, and I forgot, <laughs> that bef the reason I got this was because I received messages from my higher self to get it. I had never, ever heard of Moldavite. Never heard of it. And then I just kept seeing it over and over and over again on the internet. I kept hearing about Moldavite. So... I was like, okay, I'm getting the message to get a Moldavite. So I bought some Moldavite. <laughs> so, and then and then I did chant a little bit, connect with my higher self. Yeah, they, they really wanted me to connect with Moldavite uh, to help me out, anchor in the vi high vibration. So that's my ex experience, and I do recommend it. Okay, just be careful that you do get that accurate, real Moldavite, <laughs> not some fake stuff, okay? All right, so now you're an expert on Moldavites. <laughs>